We're back with our 2022 pitching deep dives, and who better to start with than fantasy darling Eric Lauer. Through six starts, Lauer has a 260 ERA, 0.98 whip, and absurd 29.7% strikeout minus walk rate. So let's examine how he's doing it and whether or not it's real. For starters, Lauer has seen success this season by relying more on his slider. After throwing the pitch just 12% of the time in 2021, Lauer has upped his usage to 22% in 2022, making it his second second most used pitch. The slider has rewarded him, earning just a 121 batting average against, with a 19% swinging strike rate and 30.6% CSW. Since he's comfortable throwing it to both righties and lefties, it makes for an ideal second offering. Another reason for Lauer's success has been adding 1.4 miles per hour on his fastball, up to 94 miles per hour this year. Last year, his fastball was fine, but didn't miss a lot of bats, and gave up a fair share of hard contact. This year, the added velocity and spin has helped enhance the movement on the fastball and led to just a 140 batting average against and a 19.5% swinging strike rate with a 33.5% CSW. Since Lauer pounds the zone, he doesn't walk many guys, which means the added swing and miss on his fastball and slider are leading to tremendous strikeout rates and ratio help. However, he is still giving up hard contact when batters do connect, seeing as how his fastball has allowed a 15.8% barrel rate and average exit velocity of 95.8 miles per hour. There are some other concerns ahead for Lauer. His third most used pitch is his cutter, which he throws 22% of the time and primarily to righties. Lauer is also throwing the cutter one mile per hour faster this year, which has led to less movement overall on the pitch. However, he hasn't seen much success with it. The cutter has a 300 batting average against and 21.5% CSW. His curve hasn't been much better, with a 350 batting average against. It was a solid pitch for Lauer last year, and he's added movement to the pitch this year, but it has just a 9.1% swinging strike rate and is giving up a 20% barrel rate in its limited usage so far. Another big concern for Lauer is that nothing he throws is inducing ground balls. Every single pitch has an average launch angle allowed of over 14 degrees, and he has just a 27.8% ground ball rate on the season. That's part of the reason he's already allowed seven home runs in six starts, even though only two of those starts have been at home. This could become a bigger problem as he pitches more in Milwaukee, which we know is a hitter's park. At the end of the day, Lauer's early success is driven primarily by the slider and getting way more swinging strikes out of the zone than he has in years past. However, since he has just two plus pitches in his fastball and slider, hitters may start to chase less unless he can see some improvements from the cutter or curve to give them other pitches and movements to think about. Considering everything we just covered and the fact that Lauer's deserved ERA is currently 3.32, I don't think it would be a shock to see Lauer settle in as a high three ERA pitcher who has some low up potential in home starts. I know that's not as exciting as he maybe seems right now, but it is still useful in most leagues.